Hello YouTube, this is Robert Ness 816 and we have another repair video for you. What else would you expect from me, huh? Huh? I mean really, come on. So we have a virtual boy and this is the first one that I thought to make a video of. And uh, we're doing the screen repair. So there's lots of different ways to go about it. You can bake them in the oven, you can resolder them. I choose to go about resoldering them and I also do it a little bit differently. So I have these little metal plates here and what I do is I basically first put flux on the board, then I solder the flux to melt it. Then I take a, where's my other thing? Oh, here it is. Here. Take these little metal pieces here. These are just scrap pieces of metal that are laying around and I put the uh, screen on the piece of metal and then I put this piece of metal over it like so, which puts weight on that. And then I solder the ribbon cable again, this time with solder, and uh, seems to be pretty good. It seems to be a pretty successful way to go about fixing these screens. Um, and then afterwards I kind of slide the piece of metal up so that I do not damage the ribbon cable at all. Seems to work. So. There you go. The reason why I slide it up is because the flux tends to stick to the metal, so I don't want to like ruin it. But if any of you guys have ever wondered what the actual screen looks like for the Virtual Boy, this is it. It's just a row of LEDs. That's really all that you're looking at here. Just a row of very tiny red LEDs. And these mirrors inside of the Virtual Boy, if I could take one of these covers off. These mirrors right here, there we go, eye-hand coordination failing me. These mirrors just kind of vibrate back and forth at a very high rate of speed and they basically create a picture. Very complicated system if you ask me and it's kind of retarded but it's what Nintendo chose to use back then because they were like, hey, let's use a 3D technology that's failing. Mm. Why do I say that? Because it was actually someone's idea that Nintendo bought and then decided to use in this thing and it, it really fucked them up. But anyways, that's it. So, a little quick sneak peek here at the Virtual Boy, its insides, and uh, I am going to finish my videos on the uh, DSLRs that are unused ones as far as what I recommend buying, but um, yeah, this is it, what I'm up to right now. So, have a nice day guys.